X-ray right wrist. No fractures are demonstrated. Joint alignment is anatomic. The cartilaginous joint spaces are normal in appearance. My ultrasound findings. Mild dorsal wrist capsular thickening with hypermia, particularly the dorsal intercarpal ligament. Moderate thickening of the extensor rectanulum over ECU on the ulnar side without hypermia. Injuries suck. I hope that gives you an idea on how slippery this surface is. It's a very sandy surface over hard pack and it actually took place just after finishing my T7 phase 2 build which I filmed just here. So I needed a thumbnail for this video. I thought what better way to get a damn wheelie, pin it along here, motion blur, it would look sick. So I did a couple of passes trying to get that wheelie going but it kept on kicking out on me a little bit. I should have stopped there. So I get the bike up, as I'm cruising I gave it a little bit of a throttle and the back end kicks out and this happens so fast. Full lock to the handlebars, I was standing up, hit the dirt, got thrown into the road Palm first, that was the last thing I remember seeing is my palm going down thinking crap, this is not good. I do believe that my boot saved my ankle that day. The bike landed on top of me, that's 220 kilos. Straight on the back of my leg, I was grazed, I bruised all up my arm and everything. I didn't feel any pain in my hand whatsoever. The only thing I did feel was that my pinky and my ring finger felt a little bit floppy, a little bit loose. I woke up the next morning and it felt off. It felt a bit weird. So I went and got myself a little brace and that made it feel a little bit better. Then I noticed two to three weeks, there was just no improvement. So I went to the doctors, got my x-ray done, got my ultrasound done. And the results were that the ulna, that's this bone right here in your wrist, the little, the little lump bone, that has a tendon that runs across it. And the scar tissue there for me now has just built up so much that there's all this restriction on my tendons. The damage in your tendons, you may think, ah, oh, it's not so big of a deal. It's not a break, it's all good. Breaks usually take around six weeks to heal. This happened 12 weeks ago and I'm still in a lot of pain when I just go to do everyday things. Things like opening up jars, opening up drawers, pouring your coffee. Now, usually every morning I like to go for a cycle, but I haven't been able to do so much. And this one is far too rigid. There's no suspension. You feel every single little bump. Every time I went for a ride, my wrist was aching. So I bought this one. It's got some suspension and it's a lot softer, a lot nicer and much more comfortable. I bought it because I put on five kilos from not riding my bike every morning. I tried running, but I'm not a runner. But this is, this is what I'm trying to say. The effect that this tiny little stack has had on my entire life, my well-being. It's crazy. This is the boot that saved my ankle many times. It's the Liat 5.5 Enduro boot. I absolutely love this. I bought this a few months ago, so I'm not being paid anything to say this. Absolutely love the quality. It's they're, they're awesome. They're so good. I like them so much so that I reached out to them to see if they were keen on sending over some more of their awesome gear, which they did. It's in this box right now. I'm gonna open up this thing and uh, see what they sent me. Under Armour, must have when you're hitting the trails, for sure. Knee guards, this protects your knees from lateral movement. Gives a bit more confidence when riding off-road, knowing that you're not gonna, well, less chance of tearing your ACL which is very, very nice. These look solid as. They also sent their enduro pants. There's meant to be a jacket and jersey as well here, but they just didn't arrive in time. And also their wrist guard. So this is pretty cool. Once you tighten it up, it locks your wrist in place so that you can't fall off and snap it back like what I did before. What do you reckon? Let's go and try these out see how it feels on the trails. I'm excited, I'm excited. going too hard just because I'm kind of uh, freaking out. That's probably the biggest downer about this whole situation is that I was on such a roll. I did an ADV course 
I was practicing every week. I was coming out here at least at least once a week. And I was just building up my skills for some future traveling. But I've had to put a pin in everything, which is sort of a, it's, it's a bummer. It's definitely a bummer. Uh, but I feel like this is a great way to start building up your confidence because holy crap, I just don't have any of it. But it's nice knowing that if I do come off this and these knee braces and all the gear that I'm wearing right now, literally has my back. I might show you how to take this off. So you just twist this the opposite way, boop, and that's it. It all just comes loose this way. Down she comes, down she floats. Undo your Velcro strap, and off she comes. Now, yeah, it is a little bit of a pain in the butt, especially with gloves on. If you want to take your glove off for some reason, to touch your phone screen, you gotta, you gotta do all this. Leave me. Leave me. There we go. I guess the point that I'm trying to make is that injuries suck and we should take every precaution to try to avoid these little injuries because they can affect your life in more ways than one. But although the, the new gear that I'm wearing today is going to take a little while to adjust, I feel so much safer. My confidence level is, is getting there a little bit more. Today was fun, just going for a little burn around. But nice knowing that if I do come off, my hand is protected somewhat. Same with the knees. So thank you so much Liat for sending the gear out. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna link all the gear that I'm wearing here today in the description below, so go and check it out. I need to go home and start packing because I just bought tickets to Italy. I'm going to ECMA, guys. If you're there, come and say hi. I'll be there for the entire duration. And it is my birthday on Saturday, the 11th of November. And I'll, I'll be there. So come and say hi, have a beer with me. And um, yeah, see you then.